And so, like, anyways, fellas, I mean, people say they're under the weather, but if you really think about it, aren't we always under the weather? Think about that. About time you got back, Johnny. Now we can continue the list. Five through one. Who is the hottest lady of wrestling? We're going to find out now. Any questions? Yes, it's weird. A couple 30-year-old guys are having a slumber party. <sighs> Number five. Trish Stratus came into the WWE as a fitness model. No real background in professional wrestling. She started out as a manager for Test and Albert. Get it? T and A. Gosh darn, I miss the Attitude Era. Wasn't it great? But she slowly blossomed in to a pretty good wrestler and one of the most well-respected women in the WWE. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about why she's so hot. Well, let me tell you why she's so hot. I'm halfway through the list, and I have not said the words, Puppies! Puppies! As Jerry Lawler would say each and every night. I mean, it's just not that. She was blonde, she was beautiful, she was charismatic. And kind of like Lita, she had some controversial storylines, but it did not hurt her or her image. And she is a member of the WWE Hall of Fame. Number four on the list, Mandy Rose. Now, you might be saying, why Mandy Rose? Well, let me tell you why. She is Trish Stratus 2.0. Now you might be asking yourself, why do you put her above Trish? Well, let me tell you, there's nothing hotter to a man than potential. Okay, there's a lot of things hotter than potential, but that's why I'm putting her at number four. Because she's hot, she's a pretty good underrated wrestler, and sky is the limit for Mandy Rhodes. And she's going to have more of an opportunity because WWE is really concentrating on women wrestling right now. So she has all the potential of the world. She has all the looks of the world. And ladies and gentlemen, the WWE could be her world and everything that's in it. Number three on the list, Alexa Bliss. Little Miss Bliss started in NXT, really never had that great of a push. But when she came up to the main roster, that's when they shot her to the moon, winning the title on SmackDown and then getting drafted to Raw, winning that women's title also, being the first ever to do that. But who cares? We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about why she's hot. And let me tell you why she's hot. It's those eyes. She can go babyface to heel at a snap of a finger. That's one of the most beautiful eyes I have ever seen. Her body's great. She's a good wrestler. She's good on the mic. And the future is very bright for Alexa Bliss. So keep your eye on her as she'll keep those big eyes on the prize. Number two on the list. Stacy Keebler started out in WCW known as Miss Hancock. Then when WCW folded up, she moved over quite nicely to the WWE known as Stacy Keebler. She's a former cheerleader for the Baltimore Ravens. Now you're saying to yourself, Chad, she's another blonde. What makes her so different? She is unique. She doesn't have the big chest. She shows off different parts of her body, her legs and her butt. And believe me, she showed those off every single time she got in the ring. She wasn't that great of a wrestler, that great of a manager, that great on the mic. But each and every time she came out to the ring and her song hit, she got a big ovation from the crowd. And I even cheered from home. So that's why at number two, that's going to be Stacy Keebler. Why? Because she's got legs and she knows how to use them. Number one on the list, Eva Marie. Now I know, put down the pitchforks and put down the torches. I'm going to change all your mind. This is going to be like 12 angry men. Sorry, spoiler alert. The movie's only 100 years old. But if you ever looked at Eva Marie from head to toe, she's pretty much a 10 on the pigometer, if you will. But that is not my argument. My argument is that I've never seen the company try to make somebody a star that bad that had really zero 
talent in the wrestling world. She wasn't a great wrestler. She wasn't great on the mic. They sent her down to NXT. They had Brian Kendrick try to train her. Nothing worked. And they kept trying and trying and trying and trying. And why? Because she's so gosh darn hot. That's why. And she is. And it's a shame it didn't work. But it didn't. She was nothing but eye candy. And it didn't really make any sense. Because she is a fitness person. She's very, very fit. But when it came down to wrestling and having coordination and talking in front of crowds, she just wasn't good. And the WWE tried to make her good, but it didn't work. And that's why she's number one on my list. Here it is, fellas. My top ten hottest ladies of wrestling. Now, I know you have your different opinions and your different comments. And I would like to hear them all, all except for... From you, Johnny. I don't give a shit what you say. If you like that video, you can follow us on Facebook at Shots and Chop Wrestling. Remember to like, subscribe, and to chop that notification bell.